Okay, so what you're looking at here is two videos overlapped on top of each other. Pretty much frame for frame, you've got the Pizzvasser Dominator, the, uh, the previous fastest muscle car going, overlapped with the new Albany Hermes. And if you look real close, this is just for a short section of track where there wasn't any kind of turning involved. Uh, and it looks like in a straight line, the, the Hermes might actually be just a touch quicker or at least the same pace as the Pizvasser Dominator. I mean, obviously we're going to have to wait for, you know, Bruffy's testing. That's going to be the real tail of the tape. What you're going to see in the rest of the video here is, you know, I figured, hey, why not do a little testing with the Hermes and see how fast it goes? Because what the heck, I had the car anyway. We'll just, we'll just do that. It's something to do. And I have no idea what sort of... So absolute purgatory uh, that Bruffy is going to go through with this car because it has some of the most unstable handling characteristics I've ever. It's unbelievable. It's really, really just amazing. Sometimes it pushes. Sometimes it oversteers. Sometimes you know, pushing means it wants to go straight without turning. If you don't know, sometimes it wants to go. It doesn't want to turn. Sometimes it turns too much and spins out. Um, it almost seems like if you're under braking, then it, it tends to, to slide and go straight. If you're neutral, if you're not braking or accelerating, then the turning is kind of neutral with maybe you don't know what's going to happen. And if you hit the gas while you're turning it all, you're just going to just loop it right around. It's just yeah, amazing. Except for the one time where I almost flipped, I flipped it over. That was, that you can see that on here. It, it's really weird. On this, on this Sonora track, Usually I find a fast times right around two minutes and this thing has varied for me between two minutes 30 seconds and two minutes one second which is a very quick time and comparable with uh, the best of the best there. It's, it's comparable with the Sabre Turbo. I did some Sabre Turbo runs. I think I was a little bit conservative because after five or six or ten runs or whatever I'd done with the, uh, the Hermes I did not record all of them mind you i didn't get my best run either so i mean i think my best run that you will see here is like a 202 or two or three something along those lines it's it's a very 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 difficult car to, to, to drive smoothly you have to break way in advance you have to take the turn so carefully and i i still don't know that i've gotten the, i know i haven't gotten the full potential out of it because i mean it's just so hard to make it go around a turn i mean this is not this is a tricky car to drive. It seems like in a straight line, it's got good acceleration and, and good top end. I, I don't know. We won't know really till, I mean, I'm not doing Bruffy level testing here. Let's, let's, you know, if you haven't been to Bruffy 1322's page, you really should, you should go there. Because when it comes down to determining which cars are the fastest and exactly what their handling characteristics are, nobody has more experience and, and more touch at this than Bruffy does. And I, I'm really curious is if he can tame this thing because I mean if he can tame this and then make it go around the track fast especially cutting corners I mean his his track it's just this this thing does not like turning it's you know one gets the feel I mean I was trying the handbrake I was trying all kinds of stuff one gets the feel that there is a technique where you could drive this car fast and competitive I I don't think I found it. You'd have to really work at this. And the, the, the thing about it that makes you want to work at it is it's so good looking. I mean, it's really, in my own opinion, a really good looking car. You know, if you want to do it up fancy and make it all shiny with like all kinds of chrome and stuff, you could do that. Uh, this is, of course, I got the weathered uh, NASCAR kind of thing from the 50s sort of look going on it. And uh, I really do like that. But. So it's you, you want to race it because it looks so good as a as some kind of like old racing car coming out to race again. But my goodness, you're just going to be in the bushes so often until you get used to this car. I mean, it, it might be my next challenge. It might be my next thing to do is just try and drive the Hermes around and really try and get used to it and get good at it. Because if I if you do. That'll be wonderful, but I mean, it's it's touchy. Oh my! You can watch this. Just watch it over the disasters. You you try to compensate for one thing, and another bad thing just happens here. Uh, for comparison, in the video, I do have a couple of runs with the custom saber turbo, and at least one run with the pissfaucer dominator. And uh, you know, it's a the car has. I think the Hermes has great potential for the masochist because this car 
boy, it makes it makes that Dominator feel just so stable. I mean, it's just not hard to drive. This might be, you know, this might be Bruffy's new favorite car because it's so hard to drive. It's just such a challenge. And, you know, it does look good. This might be the thing that he, I could see him doing that. Just like, all right, I got, I've got to master this car. And, uh, you know, there, there could be a whole thing going on here. It seems I'm really curious as to the top speed. I have a feeling the top speed is the new, the new, the new record holder. It's just, it seems quick. Um, I think it's got to be at least, you know, comparable in the top. I'd be surprised if it was like, you know, I, I was only taking everything up to 112, so therefore I wouldn't notice. But I mean, you know, that could very well be, you know, I could be, I could be driving in these particular cars. Maybe 202, 203 is my limit and not the car's limit. Um, you know, that's, that's a real possibility. But then again, I don't claim to be brophy. I'm just a uh, bruffy. I always want to say Brophy because it rhymes with trophy, but it's, you know, and he, with the Irish broke, he sounds like he's saying uh, Brophy, but he's actually saying Bruffy. It's just a, a funny thing there. Again, can't push that channel enough because, you know, there's, he, he does so much scientific stuff. And it's, it's really critical to all my purchases. I was getting this no matter what, so I, this is one of the few car purchases I've made where I didn't wait for his review first. Um, yeah, waiting on everything else though, so that's, uh, I don't know. The Camacho looks kind of cool. I'd have to think. So the 4x4s, but I mean, no one really races off-roaders anymore, and if they do, you're on a motorcycle. So unless they make something so fast that it'll actually blow the doors off a BF400, you're on a motorcycle anyway, so it doesn't really factor in. It's just like, do you want to drive around in this? And that's what those come down to. Probably everybody seeing this has one because they were supposed to be free and uh, so we ended up buying them or not getting them or whatever anyway. I did get just today, and this is today is the 27th of the recording, so it's two days after my the initial problems on the 25th. I did get uh, 535000 back, but that's for only one car and I did get them on both characters. So I, uh, I appended that to my... I put another response in on my request with Rockstar support, and we'll see. Maybe I'll be out 535,000. Maybe I will, uh, you know, they say, oh, you're being greedy, so therefore that's what greedy gets you. But I mean, you know, if you came up, you get a free car. I mean, that's, it did, it did happen on my second character. So hopefully they'll read that and say, oh, okay, here's another $535,000, and thank you for your patience and all that kind of stuff. But in the meantime, um, I, you could just enjoy the racing here. Take a look at the way these cars handle, you know, and there's, maybe you could uh, compare for yourself whether you think you know, you want to take the Hermes into battle or if you're if you're better off or whatever you're used to here. If you're just talking cruising around, I think you'll be a, a gas to, to drive around in. That's as far as free mode. Until somebody hits you with an orbital strike or comes at you with a hunter because then you're just toast. But I mean, as far as cruising around kind of car, absolutely fun. No question about it. Especially if you don't mind sliding into pedestrians because it's going to do that. It's going to be all over the place until you get used to it. And uh, that's pretty much my review on the Hermes. Looks really good, you know. Actually, now I'm thinking of it. There's there's a line from the uh, the restaurant at the end of the universe, which comes to mind as Ford Prefect describes the spaceship. Is oh yeah, looks like a fish, moves like a fish, stares like a cow. And that's pretty much. That's pretty much how this car is. And it's really that the whole hydraulic suspension thing. I think may be part of the problem. I'm not really sure. I might, I did not drop this to competition levels because it was so low. I figured. It would have curb problems. It'd be just bouncing all over the place. But that's something to think about too. We'll have to look at that. Oh, and by the way, sidebar. In my last GTA video, I had a little sidebar about how the Steelers cut James Debo Harrison, which had to be the stupidest move ever. Because then, and jokingly, I said, sure, now he's going to end up with the Patriots, and then he's going to win the Super Bowl with the Patriots, and he's going to retire as a Patriot. And lo and behold, the next day, uh, after he was you know, free, on free agency, cut loose from the Steelers, uh, he was picked up by the Patriots, who are probably plumbing him for every little bit of information about the Steelers that there is. Now, according to the Steelers, uh, this move was made because uh, Harrison wanted it. He wanted more play time. Uh, and he said, heck with you guys. I want to go anywhere I could get on the football field. And, uh, okay, well then, so be it. They were fair to him, even though it was a risk to the team. 
And uh, so, you know, I guess if, they, if they, he wanted that deal, he got that deal. He signed for the Patriots for $500. If you're willing to go along with that, you probably were going to be a disruption to the team anyway. So maybe everybody will be happier now. But just remember, called it here. That's, that's how that was going to go. But on this note, this is The Black Knight. Don't know how much racing is left in this video and how much I've been talking, but enjoy the racing and have a great night.